Hey everyone, welcome again on Dev Stack channel. I hope so you understood the last uh, video, and let's continue this video to complete uh, this uh, card thing. Okay, so as of now the product card is an individual uh, stateless widget, and uh, what we will going to do over here instead of hard coding everything, we are going to get the item data which we are fetching from the internet. For that, first thing I will do is I will going to create a new variable called final item and what will be the type of the item the type of the item as you know that the type of the product list is the product detail item so the type will going to be the same because I am going to extract individual uh, product list item okay and uh, what we need to do we need to use this dot item over here on a constructor and uh, it will be a required required parameter okay that's why it will throw an error because it was required and we are not passing okay so we have this controller where we have all the data and let's pass it to the item variable and uh, as you know that uh, this item builder method have a context and an index so it will iterate all the items that's why we will get the index of all the items so I will try to access individual item by the index okay so here it is and uh, okay let's go on a product card because main thing is uh, using this item so item have everything okay what are the thing it have so let's forget about the image as of now let's go on the first thing is the rating so instead of using the cons i will remove the cons okay why i will remove the cons you will get to know if i will use item dot what is the corresponding variable of the rating it's rating only and it is not throwing an error because we use a cons and we are trying to assign the value of the text widget dynamically that's why it is crying okay so i will remove the cons and the error will gone okay and why it is giving error so the argument type string can't be assigned to the parameter type string so actually it is saying that item string can be null okay so what we can do we can handle null safety how we will handle null safety we can simply do this operator it will simply say that if you got item dot rating value then assign it otherwise if you didn't get the item rating then you will simply show it as a empty string okay so this is a way how you can handle null safety and we can add a const over here to remove the linting because style will always going to be constant for this case okay size box also can use a const icon button can be also a const okay so let's do one by one let's use the copy and pasting size box will going to be const this text will also be to const this will also and now the part will come for this 4.2k actually it is a number i mean what is exactly it is item dot uh, number of review okay it was also a null nullable object I mean, it's it was op also optional object that's why uh, we had to handle a null safety okay as of now I'm just directly providing it but yeah we will add that k formula later okay and uh, yeah uh, if I will hit the save I guess that will be replaced okay you can see that we are getting the exact value 3 star 100 or something else okay um, let's go down okay as you know that we don't need this cons uh, uh, okay and uh, this is our title okay actual name so let's use item dot name okay uh, if you remember that here we have inside the name we only we are storing the actual value of the name okay so this is a item dot name we can add a const over here okay um, okay and this is our description so let's use uh, item dot disk 
and one thing you are thinking that why here the null error is not coming okay why the null error is not coming here and it came in a number of review and a rating uh, text because if you remember in a product detail model what we define that these three thing will going to be in a, a optional comp uh, optional uh, variable okay apart from every variable should be a required variable and these three variable was a optional variable okay that's why it is crying it is and it is saying that this variable can be null and your app can be broke so this is beauty of handling a null safety okay it will give us a error at the time of writing a code if some variable are optional and we are directly using it inside a text widget okay so or anywhere uh, where uh, the the required parameter is required okay so it will throw an error okay so where we where like we came to the decks okay now number of okay so this is uh, actually let's remove the cons again and uh, it's a actual value i guess so i'm going to use a string interpolation use a dollar sign and use a item dot what was the key name for this the name will going to be actual price i guess so where we have the actual oh, we have the actual price okay so it is the actual price and uh, okay and this is a discounted price so item dot discounted price okay and uh, not here const okay here we will use a const let's use not here const okay uh, textile okay and this was the number of percent is off okay so let's use a item dot discounted not number what was the name of the key discount okay number of percent discount okay okay i guess we have map everything what about the wish list we haven't done anything for the wish list right and uh, it can be a const as well so let me add a const okay so let me hit the save first and see what is happening you can see that everything we are getting from the internet so if you see our postman so where we have the postman here we have the postman so we have one two three four five six seven eight uh eight uh record so one t shirt x shirt x two three four five six seven eight number of card we got here okay and everything we are getting from here okay so first uh first name was the t shirt x and this is a shirt t shirt okay and it had a 399 actual price discounted price was the 499 with the 60 percent off so everything we map here okay it is mapping dynamically along with the rating and all which means everything is working fine but if you see the ui so this is the actual ui okay along with the everything we have a image parameter as well okay uh, so everything is mapped but we haven't mapped the image parameter as of now okay so first thing what we will do we will uh, we will try to uh, convert this ui into this type of ui okay then we will work on image parameter okay so for that what we need to do we need to go in a product.dart file what we are doing here we are directly returning a product card okay instead of returning directly the product card i'm going to return a draft if you know about that if you don't know about the wrap okay so wrap actually kind of mixture of row and column i also have a flutter basic bootcamp where you will get to know about basic widget we use in a flutter development okay and i explain it bit by bit okay so if if you don't know about this you can watch it okay so wrap is basically a mixture of uh, both so technically wrap also take children's so how we will convert this into this okay to do so 
what we need to do is we need to change a logic a little bit okay instead of using a list view dot builder we will use this wrap only and how let's do it the first thing is children is a kind of array okay so that's why the thing we are getting over here is also an array okay and what we need to do is we need to actually do the mapping we have a map method okay and uh, this map method what it will do it will going to map every uh, item into a into a different uh, kind of widget okay so let me show you but first we need to convert the return of the map into to list okay and uh, yeah it is giving a null error so we will use a product card over here just give me a minute i will explain okay and instead of e we will use a item okay and uh, this is a wrap okay and uh, instead of returning inside a list view what i will do i will just remove this list view dot builder okay and uh, i will going to use a single child scroll view okay but before that let me show you if i will not use a single child uh, scroll view what i will get a error okay so basically map is going to map each item of the list into a product card similarly we were doing on a list view okay list view dot builder okay but if i will hit this save as of now and if i will just refresh the page then you will not able to scroll here why you are not able to scroll because we haven't made this whole children scrollable that's why to make this widget scrollable we need to wrap inside a next widget which is a single child scroll view okay and now it will be scrollable it is working like the similar of the list view dot builder okay but why why exactly we did this thing i mean we wanted to achieve this kind of ui but we are not able to achieve it okay so basically if i will go on a product dot dart file you will find that i haven't specified a proper width of this container what if i will provide a width of this controller to media i mean container to media query dot op context dot size dot width divided by 2 which means the 50% of the screen width okay uh, then it should work but you can see that uh, like here uh, it is i mean we have a two different ui i mean two different card but it is giving us a error okay and this error is coming because of the 27 pixel is overflowed okay and to remove this error actually we are not getting enough size here okay height is okay but we need a proper width and if you don't get a proper width then it will throw this kind of error what we can do over here that we need to reduce a 27 pixel okay and it becomes 61 pixel okay what we can do we need to go on our description let's go on a description and let's debug it okay first let me debug it if i will go on a description section then i will get to know because of what it is overflowing okay but you got the idea that now we are able to see two product at the same time and where we have a description here we have a description what if i will just comment it out will the overflow come no the overflow will not go that is coming also because of this number of text 
okay and uh, let's do one thing at least let's remove the horizontal padding to 15 to just 5 okay at least we will get some couple of padding i mean couple of space and uh, one thing we need to do is we need to reduce the size let's reduce the size to 15 of this title or 16 okay also we are going to reduce the uh, size <coughs> and uh, let's copy the whole thing this is the phone size will going to be 13 instead of adding this dynamic width let me remove the width as well by 6 to around 2 I will going to write a phone size because we don't have enough width that's why it is overflowing okay and we need to do something over here and uh, item discount of will also will going to have a phone size 13 it will also going to have a style text style phone size 14 okay 13 let me read okay at least uh, the overflow issue is now gone okay and uh, if I give 2 here let me give a 3 so if I will give 3 then it will going uh, error 2 let's give a 2 only okay 20% off if I will give 2 let's give 2 over here also and uh, one thing also we can do let's add a 3 or 3 over here I mean 4 over here and 3 over here I'm just trying to do the changes okay and uh, yeah I guess it is working fine but what about we add some padding 5 to 6 it will throw us an error okay and uh, let's work on 5 only but actually we need some kind of horizontal horizontally I mean uh, divider as well and uh, because it's because it is not dividing because of that only it is not looking good and that's why I wanted to add this whole column into a new widget which will going to be a card and card have some margin edge inset only and it will be from the right like one so we got a uh, some padding and uh, instead of one let's use point one okay so we got padding over here if i will use point two then we will see that thing okay now everything is working but once I will go here and try to uncomment this thing will it work fine let's see okay we need to remove this overflow too and what we can do is okay let's go and add overflow property we have a text overflow dot eclipses okay and actually nothing happened okay and because of that it can be because like uh, it don't have a I mean exact width okay I mean it don't have a parent width and to remove this thing so remember what we did is we have a row widget 
and we have a two thing inside a row widget the first thing is the column and second thing is the icon button as of now this column and icon button don't have a proper height and width for that what we will going to do is actually leave it like this only and uh, let's wrap this column widget and provide a proper width i mean not this column widget i mean this first children of the row uh, with another widget called flexible okay so flexible is another widget okay and if we wrap some widget inside a flexible and provide flex equal to 1 then what it will do it will try to assign all the width available okay after the other width so basically it will what it will do the width consumed by this icon button minus the total bit available will going to assign to this flexible widget so it's kind of beauty okay what we wanted we achieved the only thing we are not yet achieved is we need to work on this image part as well okay and here the trouble will come whenever we work with the image we need proper resolution and all but the image i download it and put inside a uh, inside a uh, here which is like all are the jpg and not in a correct format but we have a eight product and all eight product have a eight image okay according to their uh, type cert have a cert image so let's use that okay and i told you that how we will going to use it okay we already made our uploads folder statics so so we can use this one okay so i'm going to just do one thing i'm going to hard code it okay uh, i'm going to hard code it and uh, or we can create a uh, another call um but yeah let's first hard code it so here inside a container we have this okay and uh, we don't have anything just this container and it have a color red so as i told that we will going to use this container and we will going to use a decoration and uh, it have box decoration and it have a image we have to use decoration image widget over here and we inside the decoration image i am going to use uh, image dot network or we will going to use a network image and we have to provide a network image over here okay and the best part over here it is perfectly looking good okay and now what we will going to do is actually we need to use a dynamic url okay and uh, remember we have this image url parameter as well where i use one two three four something like this i i told you this thing that we will going to use this thing at the time of uh, using the get api call so how we will use it as of now this will going to be the same only the name of the image will going to change and it will going to be a dynamic okay because we have a item and item have image url if i will hit the save then you can see that the corresponding image are coming the last one is not yet came the last one was the eight and oh i had to change the name from jpeg to jpg everywhere i am using a jp so it should be also a jpg okay let me hit the save again and it will work okay so everything is working fine which means the purpose of this video is completed okay and let's connect on the next video and see how we will implement this search button or how we will filter uh, based on some category okay and we will do that thing in the next video okay but before that 
प्लीज मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब दी चैनल लाइक दी वीडियो एंड शेयर दी वीडियो टू योर फ्रेंड इट विल हाईली मोटिवेट मी थैंक यू ऑल हैप्पी कोडिंग सी यू ऑन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो